The Lifesteal SMP is one of the most unique and successful Minecraft series that has ever crossed the face of YouTube. This SMP completely took over the Minecraft niche and blew up within a matter of weeks, popping out of what seemed like nothing from dozens of different creators. So join me as I uncover the truth of how the Lifesteal SMP completely took over YouTube. To first understand how the Lifesteal SMP blew up in the first place, we have to see where these creators came from. So let's take a look at Parrot's channel. When Dream started blowing up and taking over YouTube, Parrot started uploading Minecraft documentaries and just videos about Dream in general. Since following trends are usually the best way to start off on YouTube, Parrot gained about a thousand subscribers in four months. A video that did particularly well when he first started his channel was how to join the Dream SMP. During the time, the Dream SMP was one of the most popular topics on YouTube and watched by millions. So it makes sense why he would upload a video on this and then after he uploaded this special video, in 4 weeks he ended up getting 30,000 views on it. Soon enough, Parrot has amassed a well-deserved 20,000 subscribers from uploading this type of content. However, Parrot had a new idea in mind. This new idea was a completely brand new form of Minecraft SMP content. This content is what would end up skyrocketing Parrot's channel past 100k just from this one video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Parrot's Minecraft School SMP series. After Parrot successfully released his new video, within 4 weeks, it hit over 1 million views. In many people's opinions, the editing was so good that it felt like a TV show. But the question still remains, how and why did it blow up so fast? But to understand how the video blew up in the first place, I'm gonna hold an exclusive interview with Parrot. What was it like when your channel first blew up with the School SMP series for the first time? I remember... I was working on this video and I was really proud of it, like, I think I spent three days on it, which at the time was a lot for me. I would usually edit videos in like a couple hours. Um, and I posted it and at that time I was driving traffic, external traffic from TikTok to my videos. And I remember my friend reached out to me like three days after and he's like, yo, this is like 20,000 views in three days, that's so cool. Before I posted it, I was at around 20,000, and eight days later I hit 100K, which is pretty crazy. Honestly, the audience retention wasn't really that high for those videos. I think it was just new. It had really high click-through rate, I can tell you that. Now, Parrot wasn't the only content creator that blew up. The creator of the Lifesteal SMP himself, named JPEX, blew up due to his 100 day series and gained thousands of subscribers. Right after the time that Parrot gained 100,000 subscribers, this is when the new idea sparked. This idea would go on to change Minecraft on YouTube forever as we know it. There would even be many public SMPs inspired off just cause of this one idea. This idea blew up on YouTube within just a matter of weeks from many different creators. This would end up creating one of the most unique and popular editing styles that is seen in Minecraft today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Lifesteal SMP. and thus the Lifesteal SMP was born. But what was the Lifesteal SMP? 
and what made it so competitive and unique from all other SMPs? Well, let's listen to how JPEX describes it. Me and Mipic invited a bunch of YouTubers into our new SMP, except this SMP is like no other you've ever seen before. We added a plugin that makes it to where if a player kills you, they gain your heart and you lose it. And this process will continue until you have no hearts left, and when you lose all of them, you're out. This made hearts super valuable and started a ton of wars. Now this is the Lifesteal SMP. So now the main question is, how were they able to take a simple plugin and turn it into amazing videos that millions of people watch? So let's take a look at how the Lifesteal SMP was different from other SMPs. Unlike most Minecraft SMPs, the YouTubers of the Lifesteal SMP would always use the Lifesteal plugin to their advantage to be able to create action-packed videos that always had creative ideas and turn them into a big video with a well-planned storyline containing bites, twists, drama, and even unexpected scenes. Excited or nervous that someone is about to pull off a big plan? Sad or upset or angry that a member has lost a heart or failed? Maybe even shocked about a betrayal of big twist? All of these emotional factors contribute to keeping the viewer hooked into watching the video, which helps get these videos recommended to even more people. The best part about this is that there are dozens of Lifesteal members, so you can always find new videos on it. Now to first understand how the Lifesteal SMP completely developed and blew up, we have to go to the beginning, which is Season 1. It started off as normal and everybody was doing their thing, but then Parrot suspected the owners of Lifesteal, JPEX and Maypick, of admin abusing. So because of this, Parrot made his goal to find as many exploits and glitches as possible to completely ruin the server and also catch proof of them admin abusing. After there was solid evidence of Maypick and JPEX admin abusing, they started a big war, and Maypick was combat logging a lot. After the big war, Maypick was killed even after abusing admin commands. And soon after that, JPEX shut down the server for good. However, this would only be the beginning. Right after that, Parrot suggested to JPEX to keep on continuing with Lifesteal and that it was just way too good to throw away, so Parrot himself started a season 2. This by far would be the best peak of Lifesteal SMP, with so many unique videos getting millions of views. Just watch for yourself. Oh my gosh, the, the river the river strategy works. River strategy works. It does? It does? Oh my god! And that, ladies and gentlemen, was the story of the Lifesteal SMP. 2021 and 2022 would go down as the year of the Lifesteal SMP. But we're not done yet. 2023 is just here and we're only getting started. Anyways, if you want to see more crazy Minecraft stories and duping videos, make sure to subscribe and join my Discord. Bye!